Hey everybody, it's April 18th, that makes it Thursday, we've got one more day to go, let's do this. This is the Roger Williams Media Minute, today I want to talk to you about time appreciation. So recently I got a Sonicare toothbrush and if you don't have one, they're really awesome. One feature I really like about them is that every 30 seconds there's a slight pause and it tells you to move to a different quadrant of your mouth. So that way you get two minutes of brushing and get all your teeth, just like your dentist has always told you to do and you never even come close to doing it. So not only now am I really getting my teeth all cleaned and brushed up, but I'm learning to really appreciate how long 30 seconds is. And so what I wanted to talk today is just about time appreciation in terms of, you know, are you appreciating how much time you're putting into something, how much time you think you need to put into something you need to set aside so you can get a task accomplished. And also, are you appreciating other people's time? So the first one is ties directly into the sonic here is, you know, when you're doing this 30 seconds on one quadrant of your mouth, at first, I mean, I'm going, holy cow, this is going forever. I start brushing the other side of my mouth and, and forgetting that, you know, I need to just stick to the one quadrant. And, you know, as time's gone on, I've learned to appreciate that, hey, 30 seconds is, you know, about so long in my head. And so it's definitely changed some thought patterns. And so the same thing can be applied to work and life and all these other things is, you know, really making sure that you're taking the time to get a task fully accomplished and, you know, putting your full effort into it. Um, that then ties into when you're planning to do something, are you setting aside enough time to do that? If you've got an appointment you need to go to do and you've got to be there at a certain time, are you factoring in how long it's going to take you to get there? how long it's gonna take you to get ready, to leave, to get there, so on and so forth. There's multiple uh, links to the chain. And so, you, you know, just making sure you're planning ahead. The final one is appreciating other people's time. And that ties directly into, if you've got an appointment to be somewhere at noon, and you're meeting with somebody else, or you're using somebody else's services, that means that that person has set aside their time at noon to deal with you. So if you're late, you know, what is that that's kind of throwing their whole system off? If they've got a tight schedule, now you bump their whole thing five minutes and so on, and it just cannonballs and all these other things. The other thing is on a phone call or an email, you know, are you really getting to the chase or are you kind of, you know, drifting around, saying, talking about things you don't necessarily need to talk about? Um, you know, in a work environment, everybody's got stuff they need to get done. And if you're using up their time inefficiently and you're not appreciating their time, they're gonna remember that. And you know, either they're not gonna work with you anymore or when they do work with you, they're not necessarily gonna get their full attention or full effort. So, you know, just learn to appreciate time. Uh, I recommend getting a sonic care because your teeth are something you, you wanna keep. My dentist always tells me, you know, keep flossing, keep brushing well and, I'll, and he'll, give me a $5,000 vacation basically when I get into my 40s or something so I don't have to get dentures and all these uh, other procedures. So get a sign of care, not only for your teeth, but also to learn to appreciate how long 30 seconds is and maybe you'll become a better person, who knows. Hey, either way, tomorrow's Friday. I'll see you there. Rock on.